Good morning and welcome to our Advent Day 23. I can't believe tomorrow's going to be Christmas Eve and then the day after Christmas. So Christmas holds a special meaning for us all. And we all know that it's from our Lord and Savior's birth. And Simeon was an older man who loved God with all his heart. And he saw the baby Jesus and he crowned him Lord, Sovereign Lord of all. He knew who he was. In Luke 2, 28-31, describes Simeon. It says, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all nations. To say these verses are familiar would be an understatement. Many readings of this these verses have take place during Advent and Christmas. But to help us focus on the truth expressed by Simeon with fresh appreciation, let's step into his sandals. Think about the special opportunity he was given. He held baby Jesus in his arms. And more important than that moment of grace, the Holy Spirit enabled him to understand what Jesus meant for him, his people, and the world. We pray for the same blessings this Christmas. Although it would only be by faith that we hold the Christ child, we can know, as Simeon did, what this baby meant for us. Simeon saw Jesus as God's light for him and the whole world. To see Jesus as God's salvation, we actually have to look at him through God's eyes. When the father looked down at his son lying in a manger in Bethlehem, he saw the only solution for sin. He dearly loved his son, but he also loved you and me just as much. He, his dearly loved son, from the time he carefully created Adam and Eve, God had loved mankind. It broke his heart when they chose to disobey him. And since he is holy and just, he could not simply overlook what they had done. Their violation of his command required punishment. But instead of leaving him stranded in sin and condemned to hell, he planned to send his son to save them. The child that Simeon held would satisfy God's justice. He would live a sinless life as a substitute for sinners and be punished for their sins. May the Holy Spirit lead us to the same understanding about that baby and the manger. As Simeon placed Jesus in our arms this Christmas, how can we also see him as a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory of Israel? Through the words of Jesus, our eyes will be open to see him as Simeon did and to put our faith in him. A little more than 30 years later, Jesus would say, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have a light, a life. And that's John 8, 12. The light in our arms this Christmas brings light to our lives, now and forever. The writer to the Hebrews further explains that the child in our arms is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being. We see God's face as we look at Mary's son. We know God's love as we hold him in our arms. Let that be God's gift to us this Christmas. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, with the arms of faith, may we hold you again this Christmas. Open our eyes to see you as Simeon saw you long ago, as God's light and our salvation. Let us share that light with others during this Christmas season, Lord, and throughout the entire year. With all the chaos and stuff going on, Lord, we need that hope and that light. And we need to share our faith with others so that they may be without sin and to have a hope and a peace that only you can bring, Lord. Please be with those on our prayer list, Father God. According to your will, heal them, 
but more importantly, bring them peace and comfort, Lord. And we thank you, Father, for sending your Son to be our Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this morning, and I will see you all tomorrow morning. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.